Today's recipe is gluten-free, flour-free, soy-free. It can be made low-carb and also dairy-free. So be sure to stay tuned because it is delicious. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we gather together every week in the kitchen. We create nourishing and delicious recipes. Today, we're going to be making a spicy walnut and pumpkin seed bread. Let's begin today by adding one cup of whole walnuts to a large mixing bowl. Next, I'm adding in two third cup of spicy pumpkin seeds. If you don't want your bread spicy, simply use plain pumpkin seeds instead. One half of a cup of sesame seeds that may help lower cholesterol levels in our body. One half of a cup of freshly ground flax seeds, which will help bind our bread together, and grinding up the flax seeds may help our body absorb the nutrients. One quarter of a cup of dietary fiber rich chia seeds. Toss together all of these ingredients. Now let's add our other binder in this recipe, three whisked eggs. Next, one quarter of a cup of either coconut, olive, or avocado oil, or melted ghee, just depending on your dietary needs. For a little bit of flavor, let's add in one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon and one half of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt. The next ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in two scoops of our clean sourced collagens powder for a wonderful skin, joint, bone, hair, nail, and digestive support. Last, I'm adding in four large chopped up pitted dates, which is about one half of a cup. So the dates are going to be sticky. Simply take your time separating and spreading them apart. You can also substitute this with your favorite dried fruit. Toss everything together again, being sure that all of your ingredients are well coated, and then set it aside. Now let's prepare an eight by four loaf pan by either lining with parchment paper or greasing with your preferred oil. I'm going to do a combination of both to make removing the cooked bread as easy as possible. Add your mixture to the prepared pan and then press down evenly with your hands or a spatula. Bake in a 325 degree preheated oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. When your bread is done cooking, place it on a cooling rack for about five minutes before removing the bread from the pan. Let the bread cool completely before slicing it up to enjoy. This walnut and pumpkin seed bread smelled so good in the oven. I cannot wait to give it a try. I wanted to let you know, if you want to make this into a low carb bread, it's so easy. All you need to do is remove the dates, you could substitute it with stevia sweetened chocolate chips or nothing at all. So, and of course you can top it with whatever you like. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Wow, this bread is super nutrient dense. You can just tell it's so full of goodness. You won't need a lot at a time. I am loving how just those little bit of dates are adding just a little bit of sweetness. I'm loving the toasted seeds and the walnuts in there. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Definitely give it a try. What a great alternative to regular bread that you buy at the store. And also, because you only need a little bit at a time because it is so dense, you can store it in the refrigerator for about three to four days. If you don't think you'll eat it all up by then, then just simply put it in the freezer and bring it out whenever you are ready for some deliciousness. Thanks so much for joining me today. Sending you and your loved ones health, joy, and love. And I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye.